All right, so today we're watching Dear Green Place. This is a Twitch points request by Mark. Thank you, Mark, for using your points on this. So this was a Scottish pro uh, comedy program uh, that aired from October 2007 to December 2008. Show was created and starred Paul Riley uh, as well as a Ford Kiernan from Still Game um, and Chewing the Fat, obviously. Uh, as opposed to Chewing the Vat and Still Game, though, this show was not received very well, it got negative critical reception, uh, and also a potential third series was not picked up due to poor ratings. So, yeah, obviously, Mixed Fang's been heard about the show. There's all, it obviously has its fans as well, um, but it did not do well during its run. Uh, but, regardless, let's give it a look. There's a man. What's the day's date? 4th of August. That's coming I'm up. I'm going to do myself in. Right, me and all. Morning. How? Well, we'll run a tube for the exhaust right in through the window. A few deep breaths. Then it'll be... Come to the light. Yeah, but then you need to go out there, into the pouring pish. Oh, yeah. That's a good enough. point, yeah. Anyhow, this is a battery-powered motor. It's better for the environment. Ah, so it is. Bruh. I mean, would we even bother opening the gates for days like this? Dug shite. Of course. An illicit sex. See, that's all you get in days like this. Fido crapping out his wee packages and high court judges slinking about the bushes looking to get Paul off. I mean, what's the point? Cashy dictates. That's how. Land rangers must provide patrons with a visible presence at all times. But there's no patrons there. So we're sitting in here, right? When we're supposed to be out there, looking for patrons who are only here to look back to us and say hello. Well, we're not there. And neither are they. But that Tashi wanker expects us not to be sitting in here, but to be out there in the pish and rain, meeting and greeting people who are only here. But there's nobody there. Of course there's nobody there. That's why we are sitting in here skiving, ignoring the orders of that. Oh god, there's somebody there. Trashy Rick. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Henderson. Henderson. Oh, good, he picked up the litter. He didn't pick up the can, though. I see it. Rock salt. No way, man! A tractor! I get up it! Oh no! Oh, get a beauty! Get it, Angie! <laughs> I am not trying to start a witch hunt about this. But that pint of milk in that fridge clearly had my name on it. No? Well, if it's back in you there ate my this afternoon, I will take the matter no further. Point five, lewd and libidinous acts perpetrated on council property. You want to perpetrate that to me in English? Shagging in the bushes. No way, my name is Mr. Henderson. I've told you I'm not picking up any more Johnny bags till I get my new overalls. I've got a spare set. You, you can take them. He suggested they be a pair of your overalls. Live down one leg and rent the other one out. Just try to help you, mate. Shut up! <laughs> the overalls are on their way. Okay. Now, if you do spot any sexual deviants, very good. If you do see that kind of behaviour, report it immediately. Why, oh, Wallace, condoms. I often wish your feather had worn one. Aye, liking an eager young Wallace here to a pile of semen. Aye, that's contender for put down of the week. Thank you. Good John Wallace, there's been a switch to the schedule vis-a-vis -vis your part ranger training. So this afternoon, you'll be embarking on module three. Just get yourself down to the Borough Hall and see a Mr. Toner for a session on rock salt. What? Grit. Oh, aye. Reardon and McAllister. Aye. Looking forward to another fantastic wee cushy day in the van, boys. Just doing our duty for the council. Aye. As we land rangers say, sky base in perpetuum. No, the day. Whatever that means. We're moving here. Uh oh, they have to work today. Oh no, they exhuming bodies? 
are you up to? Look, here lies Tashi Henderson, a.k.a. Tom Selleck, a.k.a. the ball bag. No flowers, no sadly missed. He leaves a delighted widow who's already moved on, a flea-bitten Jack Russell, and a secret stash of gay porn. No, 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 no. That's no bit. No, right. Here, what about this then? Here lies Tashi, victim of chance, hit by a shovel, so feel free to dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Think it was rumbled? Yes. No chance. I, I think there's a chance. Nice though, eh? Hey? Oh, there. Mid-30s. Nice wee dog. Free during the day. I mean, she could run her own business. She could be a housewife, I mean. We just don't know. All we know for sure is that we'd ride it. Hey, what? Remember where we are. This is a garden of eternal peace. Here, talking of eternal peace. That's true, you see it. you hear this. What the hell's that? To celebrate my divorce. Oh! <laughs> great escape, get it? Oh, aye. Aye. Came through the day. Dear valued customer, here at Bombay Heaven is Bonanza. Oh, no, 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 no. The one below that. Decree absolute. So it's final then? Aye. No more negotiations, no more lawyers, she's off ski. Has she moved in with him? Aye. Well, who can blame her? Why stick with a lowly parky when you can live it up with a high flying traffic warden? It's a lifestyle choice then, eh? Aye. Look, I wouldn't worry about it. She'll soon get fed up pumping them for ten bobs. Aye, uh, if you don't mind. I'd rather not think about pumping anything. So that's you, eh? Half the bones, eh? What's your next option? Necrophilia? At this rate, aye. I hope not. We start all over again. Do you come here often? Where's all your eggs in the morning? Oh, that's shite. I'm going to have to buy moisturiser. No, oh, it's not going to stop at moisturiser, boy. Oh, shit. You? We're going to have to get a sticky up haircut. Shoes with no laces in them. Giving it all right, ladies. To a lassie with a face not unlike that shovel. And then before you know it, it's taxi, tits, trousers, tights, jackpot! Oh! Oh! Bro. And she comes again. Aye, You're going to prison. Today. Take all this back, right back, as far as the borders, <laughs> aye, and the weeds as well. And will you hurry up, for goodness sake? We've got a lot to go on with the day. Yeah, she's got to report Argos. you in the 40s. Come on now, Argos! <laughs> Poor idle bastard. You tried the crop? You can't even pick light still, Mr Henderson. Oh. Golf is not in hospital, is you? Well, it's the age-old question, isn't it? A carrot or a stick? Well, we've no carrots. And I wouldn't have chance hitting them with a stick either. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That horse is a skyver. It needs to bring up to speed, quite literally. Exercise and plenty of it twice a day, six days a week. Or you could just Share give it speed. Pounds. That horse has to be the main idea, its obligation but... to the park. Starting with a good, long, brisk walk right now. I knew you'd have the answer, Mr. Henderson. Here's his reins. Right. He'll no budge. You need to tickle him under his chin to get him started, Mr. Henderson. Under the uh, chin. He'll no move unless you tickle his chin. Calm down. Oh, there he goes. How are you? That's a big the horse. horse. Molly coddled Michelle. We're supposed to stop you. Tickle your buds. What a bag of core out of that Bombay heaven last night. Is that the old house of Jade? No, it's spicy and icy. Used to be the house of Jade, sure. But it burnt down. So where's Bombay heaven? Up at the cross. The new curry five. Mind you, they had to change the management because they found a rat in it. What was it like? Oh. Vicious bastard. Pink eyes, big teeth. No, the pakora. Bogging. It's a cauliflower. I shouldn't be a league man. 
Who wants cauliflower and pakora? Your tongue's all geared up for chicken. Like that. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Ugh, what's this fluffy pish? Here, check it out. Gingy's many bottles. Eight. That's pretty good. One sixty, you're dancing. I don't, but I want to get the other donut. That's us doing to 140 then. And that one's got a lid on it. And a label. Damn. Just don't be too too long. He just wasted two of them. Another one perfect, we could have got some. I know you're tight. You're skulking about in the back of the stables. Don't pick me, I'm a dafty. Well, that's all over. No always throwing sugar lumps with me, you know. Hi. Hi, much. Sorry? Much for a go on the horse. Oh, no, 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 no. This horse isn't up in the day. No, this is undergoing training, you Fiver. see. No, you're not. You don't, eh? Tenner, then. Come on, the way wants to go. I'm sure the wee man will be perfectly happy over in that soft play area there. It's just been redone for the summer. Listen, you tashy prick. My Wayne's not well. My Wayne's sick. My Wayne has a disease. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. A disease of bad haircut? Is. He's a spoilt wee bastard who always gets what he wants. That's my Wayne's disease. So, unless you've got a uh. cure, my Wayne's getting on the back of your horse. What do you say, Doc? Right, okay. Jesus. Don't, on. don't go to the back of it. Come on. What's that all about? There's more than one spoiled bastard in the park. Come on! Yeah. Tina, two teas. Hey, two teas. Is my nail in All day breakfast with chips. Dry cheese salad roll. Hoof. <laughs> there we have it. Bruh. Must be gay. And off he goes into the sunset with his dry cheese salad roll and his DVD of Brokeback Mountain. Can I get another Fanta? If you can find me another two gingies, aye. All right, boys. No free refills, sure. I guess. It's unusual to see you without Tashi hanging about your ass. I'm safe with Tashi today. He's busy with Argos. My ma's never out of Argos. I can't get my head on it. The massive plastic catalogues. Wee bookie slips you've got to fill in. Then you hear, bing bong, counter number four, please. You go up to the counter and they've no go to it and that causes a rammy. Mind you, she did get a cheap hi-fi out there once. Was that index? I think that was index. Oh, here, have you seen them shops? Please don't ask, everything's a pound. What a buzz, man. Anyway. <laughs> your breakfast, one dry cheese salad. Hoof. Don't you start. Bruh. It's just after something a wee bit. something. Look, if you must know, my friend here is feeling a wee bit off colour because today marks a major change in his status. Yep, he's officially gone from divorced. To divorced. Is that a final then? Aye. Sorry to hear that, Peter. It's alright. Look, sometimes these things work out for the best, eh? Yeah. Even though they're painful at the time. Ah. Like getting your nipples pierced? Nah. <laughs> Don't begin the boy the fear. He's about to go back into shark infested waters, and that's where you come in. I'm no shagging him. <laughs> There's all the young and stupid action to be had. What kind of clubs, you not House? Garage? Snooker? What is this? Help the ages. I mean, what are you, 49? I'm in my 30s. Well, you're needing to have a word with yourself. <laughs> I'm not used to you. See, I'm young. You know. I'm good looking. You are desperate looking. See my face? I'll get me into any club in tune. You're a walking knockback. Yeah. Who's the roast to be the horse? Shit, Argos! Did Argos sell horses right enough? Aye. <laughs> Oh, bastard piss, eh? <laughs> now I got a comment on the kid on the horse. Right, come on, yeah, that's enough. Down you come. There you go. I'll tell you something. I could get my jaws for this, you know. We boil it that up there, knee saddle, knee protection. Aye, give it a rest, will ya? Five minutes around the park, it hardly makes you bin laden, does it? Well, it's a health and safety issue. Well, as long as my boy stays healthy, there's no issue, is there? Nice wordplay. Hey, what was that? Eh, quite sturdy. Aye, well, you might want to give him a wash sometime. He absolutely stinks of shite. What? He stinks of shite. No, it's him. I gave him a king rib last night to Sukon and it went right through him. Oh. <laughs> 
Come on, Come on, Argos. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Oh, no, 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 this'll never do. Regimented rules like that dilute focus. It's far more productive to place them amphitheatrically. Now, what did the Greeks teach us? The best forum for learning is... <laughs> what the, the fuck's that faith? This way, the A, B, and C all meet at D. The focus for the whole group is one and the same. Bro dipped. The axis of attention remains constant. The speaker, which is me, retains his audience throughout. He gone. You did not retain your audience throughout. Sorry, mate. Are we late? No, no, you bang on time, gentlemen. Can we into the body of the cut? Get a couple of seats to the front there. You will reap the benefits. You won't suffer the back injuries that those who aren't here will no doubt sustain. Now, my name is Martin Toner, and if we're all sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. Rock salt. Rock salt? Rock salt. Sorry? I thought this was multicultural awareness. Well, that's the 11th. You're a week early. Jeez. But, but you're more than welcome to stay and learn. Look, I've done rock salt. It's a lot of <laughs> No, no. Rock salt. Uh, see, before we start, can I go for a can of ginger? That's a crack night here. There's a ginger machine out in the hall. What's it take? Air a pound, Dr. Pepper, if it go to a coke. Get me a coke and all. I've only got a two pound back. That's all right, the machine will give you a change. What about you, sir? You've had in. Oh, uh, something diet. Oh. Uh. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. We're here about later about rock salt. Cover from. today. Now, rock salt. Rock salt. Thank God I'll accept for it. Michelle, it's five minutes you've been staring at that window. Is that money thing? No. Is that guy thing? No. Oh, he's just Peter, you know, and his divorce and everything. Just makes me really sad when I hear about things like that. Relationships coming to an end. Makes you wonder what happened to the people. And the love. And their friendship, do you know what I mean? Kind of, aye. I mean, it's like, you meet the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, which must just be the greatest feeling ever, warm and secure and everything. And then, for whatever reason, you find yourselves a few years later and can't even communicate. Is that not really sad? No. I know what you mean. I used to stay with this guy in Castlemont in the High Flats. I fell out one time, never spoke for three weeks. I'd come home, put on EastEnders or that. He'd go to his room, he plays guitar. You're Beautiful by James Blunt. Over mm. and over, every night for three weeks. Break my heart. Break your eardrums, been good so. when you made up, the way. No, I've never made up. I went into one, slammed the kitchen door on his fingers, then chucked his guitar out the window. <laughs> That's fair enough, honestly. I would too if somebody played James Brunt for Though the word three fucking weeks. is often utilized when describing the substance used to treat the roads, pass it around, we do not actually use grit in the field. The brownish color, often mistaken for grit, is actually caused by traces of clay left in the salt. Am I tripping or like so I have demonized? Up to this point. Here's the way do we all the ginger. Brownish color, often mistaken for grit, is actually caused what the hell's by going traces on there? of clay left in the salt. So, any questions up to this point? Where's the way do we owe the ginger money? Oh, I had if I'm too quick. Oh, it's his glasses. Any questions not relating to the disappearance of the fizzy drinks man? It's a reflection. Good. Yeah, you guys yes. got robbed also. Now, applications of rock salt. Sensible usage assists with the safe movement and well-being of the following. Cars. <laughs> Vans. <laughs> Lorries. Buses. Cyclists. I want to ride my bicycle. Motor. Ah, oh, far. Far by all means. <laughs> Profanity and a council lecture. Go ahead, I've heard it all. You want to leave? Be my guest. 
You can walk out of this lecture. You can walk all the way to the Dole office for all I care. Anyone else want to rock the boat? Anyone else losing focus? Good. Uh huh. Yeah, you really told him. <laughs> the elder. <laughs> Oh shit, they put that shit way high. Give me the ball. Hey, hand it over. Hand it over. Hey! Uh, right! How many times have I to tell you? You can't play football here. There's work going on here, boys. Or at least there should be. You're going to have to find somewhere else to play football, OK? This yes, should be, yeah. Where Pardon it? our lad be confiscating this, right, and putting a knife through it, but I'm prepared to give you a second chance. If you promise me you'll pay respect to council property in the future. Can you do that? Right, where you go? They didn't answer. Go on. <laughs> I mean, play up at the pitches at Cow Lairs. He'll be lying empty. <laughs> Little bastards! How did they do that so quick? Morgan, who leaves a scant in a graveyard? People that have seen ghosts. Oh, Jim Morrison fans and all. Eh? Oh, there's a cemetery in Paris. It's called uh, Sorbonne or something. It's just chock full of dead celebrities. Oh, I have heard of that. Musicians and painters and all that shit. Aye. Marcel Marceau, Tate. Is he dead? Oh, aye, he's dead. Wife couldn't be doing with all that. After nothing shot him. <laughs> Jim Morrison's grave's there. Fans make a pilgrimage to it for all the world. They write wee notes and wee joints and all that. You've bottles of wine and. It's a cope! The French parkies have been moaning about it for years. What? They're getting free bevy. They're getting left with these. <laughs> uh, well, it's not just that, you know, I mean, there's other famous celebrities there, I know. Oscar Wilde's there. And the uh, Marcel Marceau mob, they're all there too. Then there's Racine. The painter? No, he was a composer, sure. He was a painter, I'll bet you. Much. Breakfast for a week. I'm going with your breakfast up with four figures. Oh, so it's personal, is it? Right. <laughs> okay then. It's escalated quickly. Racine, celebrated composer, died 18 something. Painter. Specialised in landscapes and fruit. Need to give a monkeys. Hit be a tram. He was a composer, I'm telling you. You're on. Right. How do we find it? Internet. Now that you're back from your toilet break, let's look at the answers to the dreaded multiple choice. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, are they the, are they the ones still there? few of you decided to make your toilet break permanent. Yeah. <laughs> However, we started with an easy one. Rock salt is brown in colour because of traces of what left in the salt? Rock. <laughs> Mud, gravy, clay, or <laughs> coal. What did you put? Coal. 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 <laughs> what colour's coal? Black. Do you get a point? Not yet. So, coal is black. What colour is rock salt? Black. The answer's in the question. Rock salt is brown in colour. Did you read the question? No, man, I don't read the question. That just puts me off. No, I'm just like, tick, 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 all the way down. Take my chances, no? Do you agree with that? That's how I pass physics. What? What's your method for filling in your multiple choice? You done it. So you advocate cheating? It's no cheating, it's a lucky dipping. Oh, this is pointless. Give me those. These sessions are for your benefit. Your applied workplace knowledge. You will get on. You will prosper. If you listen, and you learn. You won't if you lark about and rely on a lucky dip thing. Shit, you've passed. <laughs> <laughs> that was Pachamal's cannon on that moving piece. 
It's a very fitting for a wool advert some of you might remember. After the news, Stranger on the Shore by Hacker Milk. One way. And to take us there, we're going all the way up to Bonnie Scotland, the new, with a couple of land rangers. And that's Parkies to the UV. What news? And I've got a very special request. It's this much loved gem by Rossi. No! Ah! You thieving bastard. Five breakfast. How much is that going to cost me? Honours. Bassini. Wanker. <laughs> Look, calm down. I'm not going to take your money off you, am I? Anyway, you're going to need it to fund your new single lifestyle. Yeah, I was going to say. Buy yourself We're a pile divorced. of jazz Or is divorced. Right. There you'll be. On a Friday night with your tweezers out, chugging away at yourself. When respectable guys like me are propping up the bar. <laughs> oh, you're swallowing up around at your house. Riding your wife. Come here, Anne-Marie. How does it feel to be with a real man? Up oh, here, here, here. I think she's a spy, bro. Why would she be back? Now, gentlemen, you may feel unbalanced when the vehicle moves away. This is perfectly normal and can be dealt with by adopting the boxer stance, like so. <laughs> right, driver, off we go, and stop only on my command. Van off. And remember what you were told earlier. Let's see if you can take it on the road. And rock salt. Even spread. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> See, boys, be mindful of pedestrians. Now, what would have happened if that had been at night? Would we be in double time? <laughs> no, it would be doubly difficult. Yeah, we could more blindfolds. <laughs> You gotta feed the horse, bro. <laughs> and release! Excellent! Don't overload! Superb! Perfect spread! Excellent rock salting! Textbook stuff! Rock salt! Uh, you're not cheating again, are you? <laughs> rock salt! Remember your box stand! <laughs> Oh, he's okay. Boxer stands. You're an arsehole. <laughs> rock salt. They do be rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. It's no black. Rock salt. It's no blue. Rock salt. Oh no. Rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. Rock salt. <laughs> oh. And they got rock salt. Well, that didn't work out well for anybody, did it? Any guy at post credit levels? Coffee ice cream. Coffee. It's a coffee and ice cream. Fucking win. Probably me walking yep. about Argos. Yep. With Michelle. Don't you take the piss. No, no. I don't want you taking the piss out of her. Come on. You walk at our pace the way you walked at mine. Good lassie, Michelle. A wee bit naive. Heart of gold, though. So you be good. Hello, Michelle. Have a no right here. Good old.
Hello, Mr. Henderson. Oh, eh? Stud farm, is it now? Good for you, bud. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was all right. Uh, for a first episode, especially. You know, first episode isn't expected to be anything special or nothing. So, I mean, I, I, I thought that was all right. And I really enjoyed... Um, I, I really enjoyed the uh, rock salt bit. <laughs> I think that was legitimately pretty funny. Um, so, I mean, yeah, all right, Star. I don't know if it gets worse or, you know, if it just, like, falls off a cliff in Series 2 and that's why it had negative re reviews or if it never really gets that much funnier. I don't I don't know. Or maybe, again, different people have different opinions, you know? Um, I, I personally thought it was fine, first episode. Um, so maybe we'll see how it progresses. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Thank you again, Mark, for using your points on this. Uh, to complete our Scottish trilogy, uh, we did um, Bob Servant yesterday, this today. Uh, we'll do Steel Game tomorrow. Uh, but that is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, they're all in the video description down below, as well as names of all my patrons. If you didn't know, you can be a patron on me for as little as $1 or £1. You get extra direction videos, as well as a reading your comments up to date, or at least sometimes more. With all being said, though, my name is Taffer's team. It's been my reaction to Dear Green Place, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.